suppose t is a linear transformation and t of the given input vector equals the given output vector. Well, notice how the vector in the domain has one, two, three, four, five components, and the vector in the codomain has six components. This linear transformation is a mapping from R5 to R6. If the linear transformation is given by T of vector X equals matrix A times vector X, which is equal to some output vector, vector B, notice if matrix A is an M by N matrix, the number of rows in matrix A is equal to the number of components in the output vector or the vector in the codomain, which in this case is vector B. And this is because the rows of matrix A give the coefficients of the equations for each component in vector B in the codomain. Also notice how the number of columns in matrix A is equal to the number of components or rows for the input vector, vector X, or the vectors in the domain. And this is because in order for matrix multiplication to be defined, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix. So in this general case, this linear transformation is a mapping from Rn to Rm because the vectors in the domain have n components and the vectors in the codomain have m components. So for our first example, we are mapping from R5 to R6, which means the input vectors of the vectors in the domain can be written as five by one column matrices and the vectors in the codomain or output can be written as six by one column matrices. And therefore, matrix A must be a six by five matrix. And finally, if we take a look at our definition below, if a linear transformation maps from Rn to Rm, given by T of x equals Ax, then matrix A is an M by N matrix, and all the input vectors x or the vectors in the domain are in Rn. Notice the number of columns in matrix A, which is N, gives us the domain, which is Rn, and the number of rows in matrix A, which is M, gives us the codomain of Rm. So because we are mapping from R5 to R6 in this first example, the transformation matrix is a six by five matrix. For the second example, notice the input vector has six components and the output vector has three components. This linear transformation is a mapping from R6 to R3. All the input vectors, all the input vectors of vectors in the domain have six components and therefore the vectors can be written as six by one column matrices and all the vectors in the codomain or output are in R3, which can be written as three by one column matrices. So because the output vectors or the vectors in the codomain have three components and the input vectors or vectors in the domain have six components, matrix A, the transformation matrix, must be a three by six matrix. Again, because we are mapping from R6 to R3, the transformation matrix is a three by six matrix. I hope you found this helpful.